Welcome to the Oscope Wizard. I am Gabe, the Oscope Wizard. Thank you so much for joining today on Band Shirt Tuesday. I'm wearing my band shirt. I don't know if you're wearing your band shirt. Here's my band shirt. It is a Cloud Cult band shirt. We have a guest. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, where's my... <laughs> Today we have the mini Oscope wizard. It is... Gabriel Martin Jr. It is baby Gabe. He's yeah. on the Oscope wizard <laughs> because... We wanted to try something different. We've been doing a quest, a, quest. a journey, a journey to build an IRL subtitle necklace with the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. And getting a little bit tired of that particular journey, just wanted to take a break. And it was suggested in the chat that we check out this. What is a that? Switch, a Nintendo Switch USB Type C connector. And why? Why? Did we have to bring on a guest? Because it's my switch. That because I it's my his. Money. <laughs> I got it with my money. Because it is Junior's switch, and he bought it with his money. So he is going to help us today make some measurements. What I bought since the last show, I got frustrated with trying to measure current and voltage with all my different accoutrements especially on USB type C. So I got one of these little guys off of Amazon. It is a specific meter to measure type C connector. So it'll measure current and voltage and power on a type C connector. And we're gonna use that to check out the Nintendo Switch and see how the Nintendo Switch handles USB power delivery. Let's get into it. We have a bunch of things to do. We have a blank slate over here. That is no longer blank. Let's place a Nintendo Switch on there, and we have some adapters. So a big thing is a question online that comes up all the time with a Nintendo Switch. Is Can I use, do I have to use a factory USB adapter to charge this thing? So here's the factory adapter. Or can I use a less expensive, nah. cheap, off-brand adapter? So here's my less expensive, cheap, off-brand adapter that I bought on Amazon. And then, of course, I thought, you know what, let's just throw into the mix just your bog standard um, USB charger with a type C cable. So I have some of everything um, going today. And uh, the chat says, hey, hey, hi, <laughs> hi. you can't see me. Hi. OK, they can see it. They can see it. you're in there. So um, we have three different adapters to try today. And we're gonna make measurements and we're gonna see if all of these adapters use five volts. Do some of the adapters actually use the USB power delivery, which would be indicated by going higher than five volts. Um, also, I'm curious how much the different adapters, how much current the different adapters serve up. So we also have an oscilloscope over here that we can use to monitor the USB power delivery lines. It might be, um, a two-part episode as we kind of make some measurements using our little meter here, our little USB type C meter. <laughs> Before we get too too far down the road, we need to uh, set up our timer. Uh, let me get the timer going here. Okay. All right, we'll start it. And let's get... Oh. <laughs> Oh man, the chat is super impressed that you bought your own. I was super impressed with uh, the Junior Oscope Wizard that he was able to get his own Switch. We 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 were pretty. We were all in. He saved up his money for a really long time. He sold a Game Boy. Uh, no, a 3DS. He sold a, a 3DS. Sorry, I called it a Game Boy. Um, and all its games, and he got this. So we will start. Let's start by measuring the. Factory power adapter, what do you say? So yes. the way we're gonna do it is we are going to plug that into this and this into that. into the, the uh, switch. And I have a, a plug right there for you. Let's start there. Can you reach it? It's kind of like, I got all these cameras in the way. There we go. So plug into, okay, now whoa, 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 into this. 
Okay, now let's see what this, what this, did this light up? Not yet, because we need to plug it into our device. So let's plug it into our device. We are using an actual Okay, so this is the real, oh, look, look, we are using power delivery. What does that say right there? That says 15.5, 15.1 volts. 15.1 volts. 15.2 volts Point and volts. <laughs> how much current so the current is 36. right below. Thir so that 30. would be point 25 0. 0.36 or 0.25 amps can you guys see that let me zoom in a little bit super zoom every time i zoom in i always think of the movie wayne's world didn't they do a like a a zoom on wayne's world am i wrong it was like wayne's world party on um Am I wrong there? I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I, I think that's a... Uh-oh, that was definitely... That was a dad joke about Wayne's World. Uh, because Junior Oscilloscope, he's like, I don't even know what Wayne's World is. <laughs> Let's write that down, though. So the factory the factory USB adapter is for the Nintendo Switch is 15.2. This is fully charged. Okay, so the switch is fully charged. Let's get over here where we can write down it's some 0. stuff. So, 22. so we'll write down factory. Back out a little bit. Factory. Uh, factory adapter is 15 volts. Or, and now let's try the first thing. fake adapter here so i have fake um adapter. have a fake adapter so and let's i'm starting algebra okay yeah he is starting algebra in the background um let's unplug this adapter from the switch and we will plug in the generic adapter so that's unplugged all right bye bye factory made switch okay so now let's unplug it from the wall and plug in the next one I'm realizing that I should have included a slightly longer a <laughs> extension cord so it would have been easier to get to the plugs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's set the, we're going to set the factory adapter to the side and you are going to use the generic adapter. So here's the generic, generic adapter. Generic adapter plugged. plugged in. Does it use power delivery? No. Wait a second. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's not charging this way. It's Why not? 14.9. So it's 15 volts. So the generic. This no, it's not. 14.9. Okay, okay. <laughs> that is, as is pointed out, we are going for uber precision today. With the junior oscope wizard so Uber. so the factory was 15.2 volts the generic type c this is a this is a generic nintendo adapter i mean it was purchased off purchased off of amazon specifically to power a nintendo, a nintendo switch but 14.9 volts okay so what do you think what do you think could be causing that slight 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 voltage drop. I mean, uh, so 300 millivolts <laughs> is pretty small. I wonder if it's the cables. I wonder if there's a difference in the cables Wait, between can, can check. the generic. This cable is thicker. The factory cable is a little, thicker. does it, it feels a little thicker. Maybe there's a little bit more copper. Now let's try this, gen this just USB adapter that I used to plug in or used to power my Bluetooth speaker. The cool thing about this adapter, I've shown it before on the show, but it has the ability allegedly to do five volts, two amps, nine volts, two amps, or 12 volts, 1.5 amp. And I'm wondering if the switch is actually communicating with an adapter to tell it what voltage it can accept, because that's what USB power delivery is all about. It's all about the device, the Nintendo Switch, talking to this. This, and there's yeah. some communications that go back and forth between the device and the charger. Another I, reason allegedly. I'm here is so that he doesn't break my switch. Yes. So we had to agree <laughs> that 
Junior Oscope Wizard could help so that I didn't break the switch. So let's try the third adapter. Um, so let's unplug this one here. I'll set this one. Oh, we'll set this one over here. And way. now you can wait, wait, wait. You're the you're the unplugger and plugger inner. Oh uh, yeah. So very important job. You always have to start in the lab somewhere. Um, and we are starting him at unplugging and plugging in. Okay. No, uh, this is the problem with the uh, screens. When you get a screen turned on, it's like it shuts the whole. I'm sure everybody's everybody's junior oscope wizards at their house probably have the same problem when no. when a screen comes on it's just like all activity ceases no. all motion ceases it's just all motion is not ceasing all motion is not <laughs> okay so this is the third one okay this one does five volts so it, this one is not communicating with the switch but look it is doing look how much um current is being drawn it is drawing 1.1 1. 1 amp now it's down to 0.65 because the screen went off so the just regular USB does five volts. So now we have some numbers written down here. So we can see for today, factory did 15.2. The generic USB did 14.9. And the regular one is doing five volts, which we use in the car all the time just a regular usb charger with a type c cord and it, and it seems to keep your switch, switch charged okay but it's not the that's a cool place to start but the next step i know we could do next we could use we could look at the actual charger for the switch or i could go get it from the oh the, i did i did Actual, that's the actual one. No, the actual thing that you plug it into. Yeah, I brought that. No. Oh, you mean the dock? You yeah. mean the full dock? Yeah, that's true. That's true. We could take we a look at the dock with this. We can compare the two. Now, what we want to do is try to look at the actual USB Type C communication oh. channel. So there is the CC line here. Yep. Um, on both this. ends. It's the communication. Okay, so I'm going to set down my microphone and we are going to try to make. Let me let me try to make some connections here. So let's back. Connections. Let's back this up. We're going to scooch this over and we are going to plug this adapter set that I have in series with our charger. And let's uh, here. Will you get this one out of the way? Get this one out of the way and set it over there with our others, and we are going to make some connections to our oscilloscopes. Or so there's okay. So there's CC one and CC two, uh, and we need to make sure that they're both connected. And to make a good measurement with the oscilloscope, we need a connection to ground so that the scope can tell what the voltage is referenced to. I'm wondering if a better design for oscilloscopes than always referencing ground might just be to reference a plane and then you set that plane wherever you would like. The problem with always having a ground reference is that um, if it your device happens. isn't tied to ground and you plug it in, the scope itself it breaks. Well, it doesn't break, but it ties your stuff to ground, whether you want it to be tied to ground or not. Which is why you need to be. Ah, and the chat, the chat's letting us know the old school USB uh, cannot do more than five volts one amp. That is true. That is a major, um, it turned out to be a pretty major limitation as USB became more and more popular and everybody began using that to charge their phones or their devices or and everything. And, and it became a problem because people wanted faster charging. They wanted faster charging. They wanted bigger devices. They wanted quality plugs and faster charging. And the USB and quality plugs that had slow charging. So. Oh man. Yeah. They wanted quality. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing here. We have the Junior Oscope Wizard. Mini Scope Wizard. We should call him the Pontification Wizard. 
He's gonna pontificate. He's got his got a he's got a serious talent for pontification. Okay, so now I, I have know what that word means. <laughs> you have it, buddy. You have to trust me on that. Pontificate. Pontificate you on pontificate. Okay, so that is channel one. We're gonna mm -hmm. plug that into our oscilloscope. We have an oscilloscope over here. Today we are sporting the RTE oscilloscope. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, thank you. And we're gonna plug our ground into ground. So ground into ground. Point this down a little bit more. So I have these little clips. I like using these little clips. These little clips are technically for my MSO channels or my digital lines, but I like to use them with the regular scope work. pros just because they are so easy to clip on. And when I'm just looking at protocols, um, it is much easier to clip onto the pins. Now, the I other channel. So the, the other. Have I ever chair showed him the chair? Cords. I have not ever. I don't think I've ever shown them the chair of cords. No, it's not I think they might be able to see the chair of cords in the background. No. They can't see it. They can't I don't see think it. so. Well, they can, oh, yeah, they can see everything, but not good. They can see the chair of cords. Okay. This is um, so Let's plug in channel two to wow. CC2. And we're going to do some monitoring of our control lines to see what is happening. Yeah. All right. Hopefully he doesn't explode. Um, let's get this oscilloscope. Let's um, get the oscilloscope. I'm unscrewing my camera here. I don't want to do that. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. Okay, let's zoom in so that we can zoom see. In. We want to be able to see um, da, 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 this part. So I'm going to plug this into my, this, and then I'm going to plug this end into the wall adapter. But I'm not going to do that yet because I want to get my oscilloscope working here. There's my oscilloscope. I think I want my webcam over on the corner. Let's just put this over there Wait, so we can see. We can have that over in the corner of the screen so that we can still monitor the current and voltage. Except it's not monitoring. Now, first Anything. things we do with an oscilloscope. Does anybody know? Does the Junior Oscope Wizard know? First step. Fix it and make it work because they first. always break. First step <laughs> is no. First step is to make sure it works. First step is to preset. So over there on the front of the scope, can you hit the preset button for me? There we go. Preset. preset. Let's oh, turn yeah. on. Let's turn on channel two because we're looking at channels one and two. Let's make them nice and big so they can take a lot of lot of voltage here. There we go. So now they're both set to one volt per division. Let's zoom out a little bit so we're getting a bunch of time. We just are getting so this so this no, gives me more time. Why would you zoom out to get more time? Yeah. So what's oh. happening as I zoom out, the screen stays the same size, but it, but it represents bigger, bigger amounts. amounts of time. Yep. Like a map. Like a map. Yeah. So as you the zoom out from a the, map, the smaller the continent, the more of the Earth. Less yeah, okay. But you let's, can see more of the earth. Okay. Well, let's, you are my plugger inner. So okay. let's plug in the official Nintendo official adapter. Nintendo um, are we plugged in? We are, hold on, before we plug that in, let's set up my trigger. Uh, you're going to plug it into right here. But before we do it, though, before we do it, let's turn on my trigger to normal and and you know what i could do instead of having my trigger in the middle of the screen let's have my trigger over on the left hand side of the screen so i'm going to change my reference point so did that do it no i'll change my reference point boom there we go 
So now I'm over here on the edge. I'm looking for, I'm looking for USB power delivery control line traffic. Are you ready? Two, one. Did we miss it? Did it start? That. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. This isn't working, huh? Dun, so dun, let's dun. try. Let's try unplugging real quick. Let's make sure I got everything plugged in between my adapters here. Okay. Okay. Let's plug this in. There. There we go. There. Look at that. Boom. Power delivery is going crazy on channel one. And then it's gone. Probably then it's gone. No problem. But look, look, it did get it's uh okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at my voltage here. This is different. Before it was Hi. Yeah, it was 15 volts. Because now I think we are having trouble getting my power delivery through the system. I bet, I bet, guys, that this adapter, I bet, I hold on, I bet, do, 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 let's see if I can get this zoomed out here. I bet that this, this adapter right this, here that this, goes from type C to type A is not passing my power delivery correctly. Correctly. Let's, let's look at this. I thought it would, um, because it goes to a USB three connector. But I can't remember. I don't think USB three, uh, USB three Gen one or Gen two. I don't know if those guys do power delivery. I think they are still locked at five volts. So now I'm wondering if when I plug this in. The charge starts I'm getting a massive voltage drop across the whole cable, which makes sense because I got these really skinny wires here. Um, but I might need to get a proper Type C cable to pass the power delivery. I don't know if I, yeah, I don't know if I have a, I don't know if I have a Type C. I have a Type C because that pulls it. You have a Type C to Type C cable. I mean, the Type C. This is not. It came with the switch. Yeah, package. that's true. But it's <laughs> it's power adapter to Type C, which is good. It's just I want to see Type C to Type C. So I'm wondering. You can have your Type C. I can do direct. Type you can just do direct. I want to see. I want to see if we can at least capture some power delivery. So let's um, let's adjust my volts per division here to not quite so gigantic and move my trigger level up it was pretty it was one volt per division so that's pretty big okay so i still have it on normal it's waiting on a trigger let's unplug and replug and see if it works see if it works here see if we can unplug we, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look out! Five minutes remaining! Five minutes remaining, let's, no. let's set it to five minutes. Start, go back, we'll see. We'll see if we can get, oh, we'll see if we can get this all squared away. Back to my scene, we're trying to figure out if we can make this trigger happen. You know what? I just unplugged from this point and it did not, no power delivery occurred on the oscilloscope. I'm going to back up my camera so you can see more of the setup because I have, let's see, I have adapter from wall to here and then I have adapter to switch here. I think I need to unplug adapter from wall, replug it in in order to get my control line to work on the oscilloscope. So let's get this uh, back out of the way, the webcam, move them out of the way. 
so we can see the lines on the oscilloscope. So I'm going to unplug from the wall. So now we're unplugged from the wall, and then we're going to replug in. Do we get, oh, you know what? Channel two, channel one is off the screen. Off the screen here. Let's try it again. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Channel one is definitely getting some power delivery. That's definitely, uh, we're seeing the com command lines try to do something. Let's see what my voltage is there really quickly. Uh, let's make a measurement on channel one. Oh. Come back, come back. Measure, overview. All right, we gotta, we gotta uh, be a little bit more quiet while I'm talking. I uh, know, it's hard, it's hard. Um, I want a amplitude measurement. Let's turn it on. Let's turn on some statistics. We're getting a one volt swing um, there from, it goes above and below ground. Is that right? Is that, that can't be right. No, 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 no. There's, there's my ground. My ground is right here. Um, a little bit. That's, that would be called undershoot a little bit. Um, and it looks like it's only using one of the control lines, which makes sense. Um, I wonder if we can get the decoder to decode that. Let's let's just see. Let's just see. I have a protocol. Nope. You gotta you gotta be a little bit more quiet, buddy. Um. Okay. Look at that. Boom. We are actually. Look at this. Here we go, low power. Low power mode, low power mode, low power mode is saying that I can't find anybody on the other end, so I am going to default to low power mode, which is actually what we see. So we're actually seeing, wait, 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 wait. We're actually seeing exactly what the USB type C is telling us that it's doing. So it is communicating to the switch, or it's a trying to communicate to the switch. It's not getting anything back, and so, the type C adapter from the factory is defaulting to low power mode, which is what probably, it should do. Really quickly, really quickly, really while we have that, while we have that going, let's um, try this with the not factory adapter and see if it is also trying to communicate. So we'll unplug this, get the get the um, back up. So this is the generic adapter. It's not just the regular old USB adapter, which doesn't appear to be even attempting uh, communications. Of course, that could be because my cable is, is not a proper type C cable. Um, so now let's plug in the generic adapter. Right up, do it. This isn't even attempting anything. This one's so like hot. no way. Maybe, maybe it's so hot this here. one's like no way, yo. I'm not even sending. Oh, there we go. Now we got some power. But it didn't. Okay, so the generic adapter actually did not. Whoa. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my scary. goodness. Oh my goodness. That's scared. So real quick, I did a real quick cursory look. The generic adapter did not send traffic across the CC line at all. So there's a little bit more exploration to do tomorrow, with this well, switch USB power delivery. Thank you. We are to, next time we are going to look at the docks, the two docks, the two docks. Actually, what we're going to do next time is we're going to get a proper. We're going to get a proper USB Type-C cable so that we can pass the CC lines through our adapter and look at the decoder on our oscilloscope to see if we can determine when the different 
power supplies, uh, both the official power supply and the less official power supply, send the high power mode or the high voltage mode. That'll be it'll be cool. You can join me, baby, baby Friday later this week. We'll we'll have a new cable. It should be exciting. Thank you so much for joining today. I don't know all the nerds in the world, and I would love to meet them. So please share this with a nerd in your life. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.